of your son, Jesus. Let your people receive this depth, this word. Let them know how much is in them, Lord. Let them know what power resides in each one of them, Lord. And I pray that restoration will come at the right moment with abundance. Not only will you give them back what the enemy stole, but give them back what the enemy owns in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen and amen. Now, before you leave me, don't leave me now, please, for a second. Remember, I'm going to do a little teaching on prosperity because I think it's important every day. I give you just a few minutes, less than five minutes. Number one, prosperity is not a matter of luck. It's a matter of obedience. Number two, prosperity comes when we begin to understand and apply God's laws of abundance in our lives. The word of God says in Proverbs 11, 24 and 25, because these are, these are God's laws of abundance. Proverbs chapter 11 and verse 24. This won't be long, but it will bless your life. There is that scattereth and yet increaseth. There is that withholdeth more than is meat. The word meat means right, but it tends to poverty. The liberal soul, the liberal, the word liberal means the generous soul, shall be made fat. And the word fat in Hebrew here is rich. The liberal or generous soul shall be made fat or rich. And he that watereth shall be watered also himself. Now, Ecclesiastes 5. Verse 18 and 19 says that prosperity is God's gift to you. Prosperity is God's gift. He wants you to have a gift. Think about that. He wants you to receive a gift. In Ecclesiastes chapter 5, verse 18 and 19, it says that prosperity is God's gift. Isn't that wonderful? That God's is going to give you a gift that's marvelous. Behold, that which I have seen, it is good and comely for one to eat and to drink and to enjoy the good of all his labor, that he taketh under the sun all the days of his life, which God giveth him, for it is his portion. Every man, verse 19, every man also to whom God had given riches, and wealth and had given him power to eat thereof and to take his portion and to rejoice in his labor. This is the gift of God. Isn't it marvelous that verse 18 and verse 19 says it's God's portion to give you prosperity. It's your portion. It is his gift to you. Now, since prosperity is a gift, um, how do I receive that gift? Every day, I have to make a choice. Am I going to eat my seed or sow my seed? Every day, I make a choice. Will I eat my seed or will I sow my seed? If I eat my seed, the gift will not come. If I sow my seed, it'll come. So prosperity is the result of knowing truth, knowing the Bible, and scattering. That is that man which scatters and yet increases. Proverbs eleven twenty four. There is one who is always sowing and always receiving abundance. There is he that scattereth and yet increaseth. And there's that one who is always holding back. And the end of that man is poverty. Yeah. So the word of God, that's our answer. We cannot be dependent on the government. We cannot be dependent on the banks or individuals. Our source is the Lord himself. So 
I make a decision every day. Am I going to sow or eat my seed? If I sow, I'm living in truth. If I'm eating my seed, I'm believing a lie. And every time I, I sow, I'm making a choice for prosperity, a decision for prosperity. I am activating the laws, the spiritual laws God has put in place. So here I am making decisions to bring forth wealth by sowing seed. So this is your job today. It's time to decide. Proverbs 21.5 and Proverbs 10.4. Let me read for you just this blessed scripture. Proverbs 21.5. It, it really kind of says it all because I don't even have to read both portions. You may want to look at the next one yourself later. The thoughts of the diligent tends only to plenteousness. So when I'm diligent with my giving, it brings plenty. It's about diligence. And if you'd like to know the other scripture, it's Proverbs 10, verse 4. You know what? Might as well read it for you. Some of you probably just maybe won't, won't look it up on your own. So I'll just read it for you myself. So wonderful here. Okay. He becomes poor that deals with a slack hand, but the hand of the diligent makes rich. So we have to be very diligent in our giving to the Lord. Father, I pray for divine breakthroughs, divine prosperity. I pray you give that gift to everyone watching and listening, Lord, as they obey you today. They're not going to eat their seed. They're going to sow their seed in your work. That's the secret of abundance, success, and protection for the future. We we'll give you the praise. Amen and amen. All right, you can show your seat.